folks welcome back to the channel and today is something a little different I'm going to show you uh, the results before I show you the process so on this is the this is a plot that we put in last Saturday August the 14th and uh, anyway we did had a little opening video of us at the uh, southern states feed store with my friend uh, Ron Coleman but for some reason or another you know how GoPro 9's work sometimes uh, it, things just don't come over like you planned so anyway, I'm going to show you the end here. I'm going to pan and, and kind of show you the results after seven days. But I hope you'll stick around for the rest of the video and, and see the process. But uh, I'm real pleased with it. It's, um, it's coming in nicely. We've got one more week of hot weather. Um, going to be in the low to mid-90s this week. So hopefully this can survive it. But the reason we decided to go ahead and get it planted, even though it is a fall food plot, um, August the 15th is kind of the kind of the early uh, or the midpoint uh, planting date, and uh, we, since we we're going to have rain this past week, we thought, okay, we take advantage of that because there's a pretty good chance it was going to rain with this Hurricane Fred coming up through uh, through the Carolinas and, and up through Virginia. So anyway, that's what you're seeing here. So stick around and uh, watch the process. Hope you enjoy the video. Well, you can see here, thanks to my father-in-law helping me uh, get the uh, spreader started, pulling the lever so I can take off and uh, do a good job. Uh, it's always nice when uh, you get him to help me a little bit, enjoy the time together. And uh, anyway, so he, he was a big help in helping me do that. So we're taking this little tractor of his, and uh, it almost looks like an antique tractor, but it is kind of old, I think. Anyway, it works real good for this job, and uh, we're able to put the fertilizer, the uh, lime, and then uh, come back and seed it. And the plot that you're seeing here is the original food plot, the one that's been in for three or four years. But in just a minute, we'll move to the, uh, to the new section and, uh, and do the same thing.
All right, there you have it, friends. We've uh, gotten the fertilizer, the lime, and the seed in the ground. And uh, then I just went back over it with the disc just to uh, lightly uh, make sure that it was all mixed up good. Hopefully I didn't do it too much. But as you can see, it's uh, all we need now is a little rain, a little more sunshine, which we're sure to get. And uh, hopefully this will start coming up. So it's supposed to rain this afternoon uh, around 2 o'clock. And, uh, and then we're supposed to get some rain this week. So that was another reason. It's August the 14th, actually, one day before the suggested planting time. But uh, just a good opportunity to go ahead and get the seed in the ground and then hopefully get some rain on it here uh, today and, and this week. So anyway, I appreciate you staying tuned in and um, we'll come back and do an update on this just a little later, uh, maybe in a couple weeks when uh, hopefully we'll start having some seed come up. Anyway, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button. Uh, if you don't have a, um, a YouTube account, go on there. It's no big deal to set up an account. It's like anything. It just requires a email address, name, and password. And that way you can actually subscribe to the channel. And the channel is starting to take off a little bit, starting to grow a little bit. But uh, we have a, a lot of views, but uh, the subscribers kind of come along. And I think one of the reasons is people are hesitant about setting up that YouTube account. But really, uh, it, it, you'll get a much better experience if you do it. And uh, I sure would appreciate it. So thank you, and uh, I hope you uh, have a great hunting season. And, and above all, I have you, hope you have a blessed day. So we'll see you on the next video. And hopefully this will be green.